So uh, first off, what is going to be different about this year's telethon than years past? Well, we're very excited because it's our 12th annual. And what will be the same is it's going to be as many people as we can possibly get engaged with the community as well as engaging with Find Food Bank to make sure that we can end hunger in the valley. But what's going to be different is that the way in which we're doing telethon this year, now that the world is starting to open back up again, is yes. we can have people back to the food bank again. Mm -hmm. So it won't be like years past, but what we're doing this year that's special is we're focusing it around child hunger. And we actually have high schools that are sending um, some of their performance oh, groups that's awesome. to help us raise money. Yeah, so it's yeah. youth helping youth, which oh, I think awesome. is going to be amazing. Yes. Well, and especially at such a time where the pandemic, you know, affected food uh, supplies, food insecurity, created a lot of food insecurity, I should say, for a lot of folks, a lot of families in the Valley with kids staying home from school, for example, they weren't able to access some of those school lunches. So it's important for the youth to be helping youth, like you said. What are some of the uh, high schools or schools that are going to be participating? Well, we have high schools that will be representing each one of our major school districts here, as well as Xavier. Um, and we will have dance performances. We will have cooking demonstrations. Oh, nice. Um, we'll be uh, highlighting our first Find Food Bank Youth Advisory Council that's oh, made up cool. of high school students that are here in the Valley, really helping us to understand youth hunger and child hunger from the youth's perspective. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people don't realize that we have over 84% of all of our kids that go to public schools here in the Valley qualifying for free and reduced lunch. Oh, wow. And by the USDA standards, as well as Feeding America standards, if you're qualifying for free and reduced lunch, it means that you are probably suffering through food insecurity. And so we want to make sure that we can draw people's attention to understand what the value of their donations going to Find Food Bank can really help within this community. In fact, $25 can provide over 100 meals into the community. Oh, wow. Um, and it's so important right now because of all of the instability that we have with yeah. regards to the rising costs of everything. Oh, yeah. I mean, everything's going up. We see it. Gas, groceries, rents. How, um, if, if folks want to participate, how can they? So I, I know it's Friday. It's going to be televised here on uh, News Channel 3, of course, uh, from 7 to 8 p.m., I understand. So they can just call in between that hour? Absolutely. So they can call in between 7 to 8 p.m. where we're going on live. However, we will be having people answering the phones between 5 and 11 o'clock on Friday. Oh, so okay. even if they miss the uh, live segment, you know, they can call in any time after that or before. We can receive donations that way. They can also go online and they can donate at findfoodbank.org. Okay. However, it is going to be so fun. We highly, <laughs> highly encourage people to go on between 7 and 8 o'clock because don't you want to support your talent? Don't of you want to support your yes, high school talent yes. and make sure that youth know that our community really is appreciative of youth helping youth this year. Friday, April 8th, the live telethon starts 7 p.m. It goes on till 8, and again, $25 provides over 100 meals. You can find more details and donate at findfoodbank.org. Debbie Espinoza, thank you so much for joining us today. You bet. It was great to be here. Thank you. Thank you.